Hey, so this video is about making a, uh, a parts caster that's going to look like a traditional Fender Telecaster. Um, this is the body. It's a guitar fetish body in the kind of cream finish. I believe it's a poplar, white poplar body. It's not too heavy. Seems really nice. Seems routed really nice. Everything about it seems pretty cool. And in this video, we are going to be attaching the neck to it. Um, this is the neck. It's uh, um, it's kind of just a uh, Amazon.com. Uh, searched for it on Amazon.com. Found it for like forty bucks. Um, the thing that is challenging about attaching this neck to that body is that the holes are not drilled yet. So I have to drill the holes. I've done it two ways in the past. One way was I made some template thing and then I drilled the holes and it didn't work so good. It took a lot of filling to get it right. It eventually turned out good, but it took a lot of filling to get it right. Um, the other way that I did it is I just put it on like that, pushed it tight, and just drilled into it. And that's what we're gonna do today. So here we are, and we're getting ready to drill these holes. And uh, like I told you, I'm just gonna put it in place and drill some holes and then screw it in. Um, make sure that uh, you have a good screwdriver with a good tip that fit the, um, the screws really well and then I predict this is not going to take much time at all I've done it before this is all I got planned to work on this guitar now I'm buying it piece by piece um, I put a little piece of tape on there that's the length of the screw that I'm using um, the screws and the neck plate were just things I had laying around I honestly can't tell you uh, where they came from because I just kind of collect extra parts when uh, when I'm done, you know. Well, when I do a project, when I do any project. So let's we'll see here. So that's on there. This is on here. And I was kind of planning on trying to use the overhead more, uh, but I think it'll be more comfortable for me to just uh, place it in place. On my lap, let's do this, scoot a little bit, um, push it in tight, and then uh, kind of just go for it. And I'm only going to the depth of the of the uh, the tape that I put on the bit. And I'm a little nervous, but none of these parts are irreplaceable. So here we go. First hole. Boom. Um, second hole. Boom. Third hole. Boom. Fourth hole. Alright. Easy peasy. Let's pop it off and look at it. Now, yeah. I would say those are in the exact right place if you can see. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm going to blow this just blow on that and get those out. So there's the holes. There's my chip that I recently put in it. Don't bother me. This thing will get chipped throughout its lifetime and uh, it really just kind of adds the story of a guitar. When this thing's ancient, there will be this video telling me what, what happened with that. So I got my screwdriver and here's the new thing actually. So. Uh, I've been seeing in a lot of videos guys using wax for things and I just thought last time I installed a neck like this it's hell screwing these things in sometimes and I just thought a little bit of uh, lubrication with wax might make it go in a little better so I got some wax um, also I've seen it in a few other videos that were useful so what I'm going to do so I'm just going to try and get a little of this wax on the threads. 
That seems good enough. With all of them. That seems good. That just might help the wood thread a little better, you know? Alright. That, that seems pretty good to me. Now, it's the, uh, the screwing in part. So, and let's go get all these started. Seems pretty good. And let's see if the, the holes line up. I kind of do a star pattern. I don't know if that's really necessary or anything, but I do do it. And uh, this is getting really awkward to hold. So I am going to just pick it up. Yeah, it looks tight. Looks straight. All right, finish it like this, you know? And these are a little tough going in because it's making a thread in the wood while you're screwing it in. So. so that's mostly that's mostly there. Just having a look. Trying to gauge whether the thing is on there straight. As much as I can tell it's on there. I won't really tell until I got strings on. But everything seems good. So I'm gonna give it one final turn on each one. And I think that's all it takes. So really that's all it is. It's very easy. I probably have spent 20 minutes doing this, you know, hardly any time at all. And now I got for cheap, these are pretty good parts. I mean, decent parts, better than an Affinity's Tele. And I got the neck attached to the, uh, the body. And in a few days, or weeks probably, the, uh, the bridge, I'll, I'll <laughs> attach the bridge to the body. So, thank you for watching everybody.